Hey everyone, so it's finally here. The Ram TRX was just announced today. So uh, if you haven't seen my video from last month talking about the Dodge release and, you know, the Hellcat Durango versus TRX uh, argument, um, basically uh, they kind of sealed the deal today for what my choices are going to be going forward. And unfortunately, based on the pricing of the Ram TRX, I do not think that that is going to be an option for me moving forward and uh got a couple notes here and i'll explain why so base price trx no options seventy thousand and like 95 dollars so even before you've added a single option onto the car you're going to be looking at you know with taxes and everything 75 plus all right so um going into some of the option groups just the major packages right so the launch edition package, which they're offering for the first year, is $12,000. So that comes with, you know, special paint, graphics, stuff like that. But then also, when you add in the launch edition, you're automatically adding on the level 2 group. Level 2 group is almost $8,000. So when you select launch edition and level 2 group you're automatically adding basically $20,000 onto the price. So before you've even, you've checked two boxes and you're at a $90,000 vehicle, which just, I mean, it's going to be a very capable vehicle. Don't get me wrong, but that's just a lot of money for a truck that is built for a purpose that a very small percentage of the market is going to be doing, which is Baja dune running and, you know, stuff like that um but i'm not saying it's completely you know not worth the money you're still getting 702 horsepower and 650 pound feet of torque now there was a lot of questions you know i was watching the live stream why only 702 horsepower well that's probably going to be down to the air intake that they've had to put on it um it's going to be restricting a lot of the top end because they've had to put extra filters to you know for sand so if you're going out and hitting the dunes they don't want sand getting in the engine especially you know with a hellcat supercharger on it so that's probably where you're losing that you know the five horsepower off of the claimed hellcat 707 so moving on well one thing i didn't there's it there is a level one group which is honestly not even like i don't see why anybody would get the level one group because that's thirty four hundred dollars, and that doesn't even give you like vented seats or anything like that. It's just kind of a basic, you know, leather heated seat option package. But if you're building a car or a truck, in this case, to go out to the desert and do dune running and stuff like that, wouldn't you want ventilated seats? So it seems like kind of a no brainer to go with the level two option package. So some of the cool things that they have introduced into the trucks for the first time is the performance pages so that's great and then along with the performance pages you're also getting drive modes now so they had like baja rock mud uh snow and then like a sport mode for you know for uh drag strip use or something like that some of the mechanical features that they were talking about so you're getting a two and a half inch lift over a standard truck the body on that truck is 88 inches wide 88 inches wide so that is eight inches wider than even that power wagon right there it is eight inches wider than that power wagon 2500 which is just insane and basically the way they achieve that is by adding four inch fender flares on each corner and then that allowed them to push the track of the vehicle you know which is your your left wheel to your right wheel that is actually six inches wider than on a standard truck We've gone over some of the mechanical, some of the performance stuff. They they had a whole bunch of things like I think it can wade up to almost three feet of water. You know, it's got a whole bunch of travel and everything like that for the, the sand running and stuff like that. But I'm just not sure if by the time you add on twenty, thirty thousand dollars in options, you're looking at a hundred thousand dollar truck. How many people are gonna be taking their hundred thousand dollar truck? and jumping it off of sand dunes me personally i know i wouldn't i was kind of i was hoping that they were going to be more competitive with the ford raptor pricing so the raptor base price 53 most people option them into the 60s which you know for a sixty thousand dollar vehicle as a toy fine you can still go have fun with it if it breaks it breaks you know cool sixty thousand dollars is a lot of money don't get me wrong 
but it's not a hundred thousand dollars because I was talking with my brother who has the power wagon right here. All he did was add on, you know, the level two group, which is eight thousand dollars. You add on a ram bar, some side steps, a couple other things like tra the trailer tow group and stuff like that. And he said his truck was ninety six thousand dollars. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, nobody's gonna do use that truck for what it's worth at that money. So I'm not sure what Ram was thinking when it came to doing all that. Like, I, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Maybe it's because the first year, um, so when they came out with the 2019 1500s, they kind of got me with this. I went out and bought one of the new Rebels right away. Because, you know, I think the Rebel base price was 55000 on when they launched. The next year came around, they slashed the prices, like I think it was five or seven thousand dollars. So then you could get a base rebel for forty eight. I wonder if you know Ram's doing something similar with the TRX where they're gonna have these seventy thousand dollar base prices for the initial launch and might see a year or two down the road them slash the prices so that way they're more competitive with the Raptor. Because at this point, how can you justify buying a Baja off road truck? When Ford is offering a competitor, albeit with a V6 and a lot less horsepower, but it's $17,000 less. Now, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just over here bashing Ram. I love Ram. I love Mopar. I love Dodge. I love all that. I think the truck looks fantastic. It's going to perform fantastic. But I just, I'm a little hurt by the price. Like, that's a little outrageous in my opinion. Um, I don't think they're necessarily going to sell as well as they think they are at that price. Now, if they, in my last video I referenced earlier, but I talked about it, if they offered that truck at say 60 and you could option it up into the 70s and then fully loaded be 80 or it maybe 85, it would sell. But it's not, it's not even close to that. We're literally 10, $15,000 more than that. And I think they're going to have a hard time selling them in this initial year. Maybe not because of the hype, but we'll see. Um, I do think it's still a fantastic vehicle. Would I love to have one? Absolutely. But um, I cannot. I cannot justify spending that kind of money on a, on a toy that I can't even use as potential. Because to be honest, I live in Maryland. We don't even have sand dunes here. So that's, I mean, I have a very expensive toy right here in the Hellcat Red Eye, but we have racetracks that I can actually go use my toy for the amount of money that I'm spending on it. So, yeah, uh, it's kind of a little bit of a ranting video, but I, I think I'm sharing the same sentiment as a lot of people. Um, and then to think about it, there's going to be people out there that are paying over sticker for these. Now I'm going to point this out to anybody. If you have a dealership that is trying to sell you a car for more than MSRP, you need to find a new dealership. Like end of story markups should not be a thing. So yeah. Um, overall, I think the presentation was great. Um, I just, I just not sure how Ram thinks that they're going to be able to sell so even if you just get a, a slightly optioned one, so say eighty thousand dollar truck, uh, well let me let me rephrase that an eighty thousand dollar toy that's only I, uh, marketed to a small amount of people. When we have the whole coronavirus thing going on right now, it's going to be a very 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 tough sell, and I really hope that they don't lose their ass on it. Like all that R and D money that went into it, I'm sure it was it wasn't cheap to to R and D. Plus all the time and resources going out and testing it and stuff. But the only way I think it's going to be feasible is if they lower the price. Like that. So maybe, like I said earlier, first year, all the hype. Sell as many as they can. Make their money. And then next year, have the more realistic people uh, come in. Maybe slash the price five to $10,000. And then move on. Now, an update outside of the uh, Ram. I actually had the wheels, uh, the race wheels put on the Hellcat Red Eye because I was supposed to be racing a uh, SRT Jeep the other day, but 
got to the spot and uh, he flaked, so it didn't show up. So uh, I'm gonna end up putting these back on. Um, Streetcar Takeover was unfortunately canceled this past weekend. So no racing footage this week, but I have a new idea starting right now. Since you're watching this video, we're gonna we're calling it Sour Horsepower Truck Week. So this week, only truck videos. And you're not only getting this one. Normally we do two videos per week, Monday and Thursday. This week, we're gonna have videos for you Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So three videos this week. Obviously, the one you're watching now. And then um, I did a review on a 2020 Power Wagon, which you'll be seeing Wednesday. And then Friday, got a little something special for you. So it is gonna be truck related. So that's why we're calling it our first ever Sour Horsepower Truck Week. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead, like this video, uh, subscribe. If you have any comments about the TRX, Go ahead and leave them below if you think that I'm just being a little salty about it and because I can't get it now, go ahead, let me know. I'm not I'm not ashamed of my opinion and it is what it is. So um yeah, I want you all to have a great week. Started off pretty good with a nice Monday uh car reveal, but uh take care and uh, have a great day.